Hello everyone, my name is SN Patil. In this video lecture, we will discuss inverse Fourier cosine transform. We have the problem, what is the function f of x whose Fourier cosine transform is sine a lambda upon lambda. That is lambda is given here and the question for the find the function f of x. So first of all, we write the lambda that is capital F in bracket lambda and here we write the suffix c, c for cosine transform, okay, which is given that is sine a lambda divided by lambda, c equation number one. So here for finding the function f of x, we apply the inverse Fourier cosine transform by inverse Fourier, Fourier cosine transform. f of x is equal to 2 upon pi 0 to infinity integration capital F in bracket lambda suffix c cos of lambda x with respect to lambda integration. Okay. Now substitute the value of f of lambda in equation 2 that is 2 upon pi 0 to infinity sin a lambda divided by lambda into cos of lambda x with respect to lambda. Okay. See the under integration term as like question form as like multiplication. Okay. So it is difficult solving this integration. Okay. If we see the numerator, the numerator is appear as a sin a into cos b and we have the formula. 2 times sin a plus sorry sin a sin a into cos b 2 times sin a into cos b is sin a plus b plus sin a minus b if we simplify we get 2 times sin a cos b so here uh, we consider a from the problem a as a a lambda and b as a lambda x then what is a plus b a plus b is a lambda plus lambda time x what is the common term lambda is common a plus x into lambda similarly for minus here minus here minus here minus okay so here the f of x is equal to uh, we write uh, we write this two inside the integration that is 1 upon pi simply 0 to infinity and inside the integration 2 times sin a cos b. The 2 times sin a cos b is sin a plus b. Here denominator is lambda sin a plus b. a plus b means sin a plus b means a plus x into lambda plus sin a minus x that is a minus b, a lambda is common with respect to lambda integration. Now here separate the lambda that is <clears throat> f of x is equal to 1 upon pi integration 0 to infinity sin a lambda divided by lambda sorry a plus x into lambda with respect to lambda integration now second term 0 to infinity sin a minus x into lambda divided by lambda with respect to lambda integration okay now we know the result we know the result integration 0 to infinity sin theta upon theta with respect to theta is equal to pi by 2. But here the uh, value is uh, some value is there a, a plus x is there. So there is a result 0 to infinity sin a theta divided by theta with respect to theta is equal to there are two values. The value is depend on the value of a the first value is pi by 2 when a is positive 
and the second is minus pi by 2 when a is negative. Okay, apply formula here. The f of x is equal to 1 upon pi is outside. Okay. Now, in first case, both are the positive. a plus x and a minus x, both are the positive. So, first integral, its value from above result is pi by 2 and second is pi by 2 because we consider a plus x is positive and a minus x also a positive value. Okay. So here the integration is 0 to infinity that is the positive domain then definitely the a plus x is definitely greater than 0. Okay. But in some case a is a large a is large than the x Hmm? Then a minus x is positive. If a is small, a is small, then a minus x, if a is small, a is small and x is large, that time a minus x is negative. Okay. That is the second value. If the a plus x is always positive, okay, because positive range is there, 0 to infinity, the first value is positive. Second value, a plus x is positive. Now, in second case, a may be a small. Hmm? Then, then what happened? A minus x is definitely negative. Then, the, its output of the second integral is minus pi by 2. Okay, now simplify. So, here, uh, 1 upon pi is multiplied here. And here pi by 2 plus pi by 2. That is simply pi. 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 that is 1. Okay. And now in second 1 pi by 1 upon pi is multiplied to the second term. Second is 0. So we get here 0. Now here a plus x is positive. Okay. And here a is greater than x. Here a plus x is positive and a is less than x. Now, here pi pi is cancelled. The f of x is equal to, is equal to here what is the remaining term? 1 is remaining. Now, here a plus x is positive. a is greater than x. That is, it means x is small. x is small. Now, it can be written as, then definitely both are the positive value. Now, it can be written as 0 is less than x. Is less than a. See here, a is large than x. Now, here x is greater than a. x is greater than a. That is, second term, x is greater than a. See here, suppose this is 0. Okay, now here x, suppose this is a, hmm. the first interval is x is lies between 0 to a, this is the first interval and the second is x is greater than, that time the value of f of x is 0 and when x is lies between 0 to a, then value of f of x is one okay thank you thanks for watching